Encountering your twin flame can feel like a rediscovery of a lost part of yourself. The separation from them can cause immense anguish, and the love that blossoms upon meeting them is unmatched. However, being in a relationship with your twin flame can also lead to physical discomfort. Hence, it's crucial to pay attention to 10 indications that should not be disregarded. One of the indications of encountering your twin flame is experiencing a headache that persists. Since our head is the center for processing thoughts, emotions, and memories, when this energy center is blocked, it can result in a headache ranging from a shooting pain to a general ache. While this pain could suggest that your twin flame is dealing with similar pain, it could also indicate the need to give them space. Nevertheless, persistent headaches are not to be ignored, and a doctor's visit is advisable. Blocked crown chakra could be the reason for this pain, and signifies that you haven't been connecting with your spirit, causing you to block your twin flame connection, Similarly, deep exhaustion and fatigue can result from the intensity of the twin flame connection and the emotions that come with it. This could indicate that you have been neglecting yourself and need to give yourself space to rest and recharge. However, if this feeling persists, it might be wise to seek medical attention as it could be a sign of burnout or other illnesses. Ultimately, prioritizing yourself and finding ways to relax can keep your twin flame connection going strong. Encountering your twin flame can feel like a rediscovery of a lost part of yourself. The separation from them can cause immense anguish, and the love that blossoms upon meeting them is unmatched. However, being in a relationship with your twin flame can also lead to physical discomfort. Hence, it's crucial to pay attention to 10 indications that should not be disregarded. One of the indications of encountering your twin flame is experiencing a headache that persists. Since our head is the center for processing thoughts, emotions, and memories, when this energy center is blocked, it can result in a headache, ranging from a shooting pain to a general ache. While this pain could suggest that your twin flame is dealing with similar pain, it could also indicate the need to give them space. The information presented in this article provides insight into the potential causes of twin flame pain, but since every individual's experience is unique, it's best to seek personalized advice from a trusted advisor. A psychic reading tailored to your situation can help you address the specific issues you are facing. However, it's crucial to find a reputable and trustworthy advisor to consult. One common symptom of twin flame pain is chest pain, which may be due to unacknowledged fears, wounds, or resentments. It's vital to ensure that any sudden or severe chest pains are not indicative of a physical issue with your heart. If there's no physical problem, your heart chakra may be blocked, hindering the flow of love and connection in your life. It's also possible that your twin flame is experiencing grief or sadness, which can manifest as chest pain on your end. Communication and openness with your twin flame can help alleviate this pain loss of appetite. The intensity of the connection with your twin flame can sometimes suppress your appetite. While it's common for people in love to experience a loss of appetite, it can be more severe with your twin flame. Your body is trying to communicate that something is causing it distress. However, initially, it could be a result of butterflies in your stomach. Your twin flame can evoke various emotions, and feeling butterflies around them is natural. But if the sensation is extreme, it could imply that there is an issue with the connection, or that something is wrong in your twin flame's life. Stomach pain can also indicate low self-esteem or anger problems, either in yourself or your twin flame. Reflect on whether you struggle with self-esteem issues. If so, your twin flame might be experiencing the same problem, and you're feeling their pain. It's crucial to get to the root of the issue promptly, and find ways to ease the situation without harming anyone. Healing from self-esteem issues can be challenging and requires introspection. You feel sick all the time, 
Twin flames can generate strong emotions, such as sadness, anger, and resentment, that are so intense, that they can make you feel sick. Your body tries to expel these emotions through sickness. Connecting with your twin flame raises your frequency, which can sometimes cause you to get sick a few times. It doesn't mean your relationship is bad, it's just your body purging itself. When you first meet your twin flame, your body gets flooded with energy, and there's a lot to process. Amidst the chaos, your immune system can go a little haywire, making you more prone to getting sick. It's nothing to be concerned about, just take care of yourself and get adequate rest. If you're consistently feeling sick for a few months, it's best to consult a doctor and see if there's anything else going on. Sickness can energetically signal your body's need for help and rest. It's a sign that you're not taking care of yourself, and you need to slow down. Pain is a natural response when your body is healing an injury. But, if you're experiencing pain without any injury, it could be a sign that your twin flame is unintentionally causing it. Sometimes they emit negative energy without realizing it, or may be suffering from a past trauma that is causing them pain. Most often, twin flames are unaware of the pain they are causing each other. If your body is in constant pain, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your twin flame about it. If they are clueless, Try meditating together to connect and understand each other's pain. It could also help resolve any past life connections that might be causing it. And, if the pain persists, it's best to seek advice from a doctor. Your feet and legs are linked to your past and deep emotions, so twin flames may cause you pain in this area. But pain is not permanent. It's a signal that your body is releasing emotions from your past, that is causing discomfort and keeping you stuck. The pain may also indicate a deep-seated need for grounding and stability, especially if the relationship with your twin flame has been turbulent. Take time to reflect on what you want in life, and whether your twin flame is the right person to help you achieve stability. If the relationship continues to be a source of pain, it may be time to consider moving on. However, you can also work with your twin flame to find stability by talking to them openly about your concerns. If you feel constant soreness in your throat and cough frequently, it could be a sign of repressed emotions. The throat is linked to sadness, which could explain the sorrow you might be feeling about your twin flame relationship. However, the throat is also associated with the throat chakra, which is related to speaking your truth and finding your voice. This could indicate that you are feeling a lot of emotions, but feel the need to suppress them and not express them. Talking to your twin flame in person could help you connect at a deeper level and understand each other better. Remember, Speaking your truth is essential for your well-being. Sharp shooting pains in your spine are often linked to issues from your past and karmic cycle. Your twin flame can trigger these issues, causing you physical pain. It's vital to release any blockages you may have created by diving into inner child healing work and addressing past traumas. If the pain persists, it's recommended to consult a doctor to ensure there are no physical problems. Opening up to your twin flame and working through past traumas together could also help alleviate the pain. Constant nausea and dizziness. Nausea can stem from repressed emotions or past traumas that twin flames can bring up. It could also be an indication of your twin flame, causing you pain or your low self-esteem affecting your sense of purpose in life. Finding your purpose can help you heal and work through the issue. If the feeling persists, it's best to see a doctor. But for now, try to relax and focus on your breathing. Remember, pain is a necessary part of healing in a twin flame relationship, but it's always wise to rule out any physical conditions causing the discomfort. If you need more clarity, Speaking to a gifted advisor can be helpful.